Hello everyone, welcome back. So let's continue talking about determinants. Okay, so if you remember last time we discussed uh, the definition of the determinant of a square matrix. And we had a nice remark which states that the smart choice uh, which leads to less computation when you want to calculate the determinant is to pick a row or column with many zeros. Okay, let's look at example 6.1.5. In this example, we want to evaluate the determinant of a 4 by 4 matrix. So we have to decide which row or column is good to be chosen to calculate the determinant. Well, here I would like to choose the second column as there are two zeros in this column. Of course, you can choose the third row as well. Okay, so as you remember, we need to know the sign of negative one on top i plus j so here, plus, first minus, and then plus, and then minus, and then plus. Good. Now, to do the cofactor expansion, we write 2 and then 2 times this minus 1. That's why it's negative 2. And then I have to copy this matrix. And after writing the matrix, we will remove a row and a column. Okay, which row, which column to remove? Well, you look at this two here, you remove the row containing that two and the column containing that two. And then for the next entry, we have one here and it's plus, so we write plus determinant again. One zero zero two three zero two five, and because of this one here, we remove the row containing that, the column containing that. I do not write the rest of the terms as there is indeed a zero here, a zero here, which leads to zero in the rest of our calculation. So we don't have to write them. Okay, now. We will have negative twice, uh, one, four, two, one, zero, two, three, two, five, plus minus one, minus one, three, one, zero, two, three, two, five. So we have two three by three matrices. Now uh, let's do the co let's evaluate the cofactor expansion along the second row for both of them because there's a zero in this row. And then uh, first, let's look at the sign of negative one on top i plus j. This is minus, plus, minus here, and then plus, and then minus, plus, minus. Good. And then this equals minus twice. Well, now, you see there's a minus right here and one here. You multiply them, you get minus, and then a two by two matrix, and then plus this zero, but I don't write the zero because zero times a number is zero, and then we have just two here, a two by two matrix. Let's see what are those two by two matrices. Well, for this one, you remove the row and column, you get four, two, two, five, good. Okay, so four, two, two, five. You do the same for this two here. So these two will get removed. So one, four, three, two. Great. Plus, now let's compute this determinant. Well, again, we get negative one times determinant of negative one, three, two, five. After removing the second row and first column. And I don't write the term involving the zero, and then the last one is twice, the determinant of negative one, negative one, three, two. The answer becomes minus twice, 
Okay, to compute the determinant of a two by two matrix, we saw that you have to multiply the main diagonal in three minus the product of non-main diagonal entries. So we get minus four times five, 20, minus four plus twice, two minus 12, and then plus minus one, minus five, minus six, minus 11, plus twice, minus two, plus three, one. And then the answer becomes, okay, 20 minus four, 16 minus 16, then minus 10. Uh, this is just my, oh, oops, I'm sorry. Okay, it's okay, we will fix this. So you see, these are both minus right here. Well, this is just minus, this is just minus. Okay, both of them. And then this is minus, this is minus, minus here, minus here. Good. So the answer is minus 10, and this is 20, 20 minus 16, 4, so negative 12 times 4 plus, and this one is 11 minus 2, 9. So the answer is 1. Great. Okay, so this is the way we calculate the determinant of a 4 by 4 matrix. So you realize that a tiny mistake will change the whole answer, so we have to be careful. Okay, uh, that's enough for today. Stay safe. Bye.